Hi, this is Supi Bhadri and uh, I'm here to present you a very simple idea which I'm thinking about and would be nice to have a discussion. Of course, it's uh, not a detailed discussion because uh, I, I still don't have much time about it. Uh, what you can see on the screen is a simple pet bottle. Often these uh, end up in a garbage dump or landfill because uh, um, these are difficult to recycle or pass on to recycling companies. Uh, the other option is uh, they are put into incinerators where some energy is recovered after burning them and the third option is to recycle them which is good but it takes, um, I, I don't think it's very efficient the collection system and um, it's, it's a difficult process to recycle these. So <coughs> what, you can, what you can do is instead of throwing these away to the dustbin after a single use uh, one can actually think about upcycling it. The upcycling can be in the field of construction of certain projects or in decorations, for example. Um, this is what I'm really interested in, is, is, is the utility of this great resource of plastic which we have around our, uh, ourselves. We have created it in the first place and now we must find a solution to use it or to make good, good reasonable use of it. So, in terms of construction, the first thing that comes into my mind is the idea of uh, bricks. Now, bricks can be replaced by PET bottles and uh, why not? The plastic bottles are quite strong when sealed with their caps on and uh, these are the use of such materials will help in reducing the amount of brick uh, that are produced and consequently the amount of soil which is used in making these clay bricks. Uh, these are also great insulators since they are filled with air and also are very light by weight. A very interesting advantage is that the walls can be transparent when made, when made, with using, uh, made by using these materials, reducing our lighting requirements during the day. So how can we proceed? So there are three ways in which uh, people construct walls out of poly, uh, sorry, PET um, uh, bottles. The first thing is natural stacking uh, in which they, they fill bottles with plastic or other waste and uh, seal them off with the caps on and stack them over uh, each other. The inner gaps are filled with uh, cement or uh, clay. Another method is currently being promoted by certain companies where they collect these plastic bottles, they melt them and uh, reshape them, uh, remake uh, new plastic bottles which are geometrically uh, more uh, suited as to perform as bricks. But the problem with this kind of collection and remolding and reshaping is the amount of energy that goes in the transportation collection, uh, remelting of these plastics and then again redistribution. I really feel that it would be better if we could do the, the brick making ourselves as a crowdsourced uh, activity mm. and uh, whoever needs can hire some people to do it. Uh, it would be better for the economy also and also reduce uh, the, the whole complexity of the process. So we come to the third point which is how to make our own polybricks. So polybricks is a short form or a common word I think is very popular in the YouTube on the YouTube is basically bricks made out of poly or, or PET bottles. So the idea is very simple. Uh, how can you make a brick out of PET bottle? I, I mean the first thing is PET bottles are thermoplastic. So when it is heated they will they will when they are heated they will turn soft for the time being. Such a plastic bottle will shrink when heated which is the exact opposite of how it was supposed to be originally when made when made by a process of blowing. So it was blown into this shape and now it wants to shrink back. So it's kind of a memory uh, memory that these plastics have. And uh, if we apply pressure to a plastic bottle while it is being heated, it can also expand and take the shape of a mold. So what we can do is we can create a and we can heat a bottle to a, in the range of 75 to 100 degrees Celsius and then put it uh, in a mold. I have drawn a triangular mold over here but it can be any complex shape or interlocking shape as desired. 
and uh, then it needs to be pressurized to so that the bottle takes the shape of the mold so what you have after this process is a poly brick which you made you can make it at home and um, uh, it's just it's just a very simple process uh, i i couldn't find a lot of videos or uh, tutorials about it because i was uh, really searching for this so i said why not make it um, I didn't have the time to try it out, but uh, I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who are who are desperately working very hard at uh, the problem of waste management. And um, it would be nice to have some feedback and discussion about it. Maybe in future I'll try something. I'll try to build a system about it. So the next time, uh, would you throw your bottles away or uh, upcycle them into something of use? Is a question. The, this is my little idea. I hope um, it's of some use to someone, <laughs> or at least uh, please please make a discussion about it. Uh, give me a feedback. Uh, if, will it work? Will it not work? That's all I want from this video, or from the viewers of this video. Thanks a lot, and have a nice time.